Mrs. Walker. Miss Walker. As a photographer, I always try to take pictures of people. I try to take them for free. I try to sneak and take pictures. Sometimes that's the only way. When I met Miss Walker, she was getting ready to celebrate 40 years with our company, and I had the pleasure of taking her picture for the company magazine. That would be the only time I would be allowed to take her picture. My dear friend never allowed me to take her picture again. I found out that she passed away about 45 minutes ago. We worked alongside each other for two years. The first year we ate lunch together almost every day. She was my friend, and even though I do not have a physical picture to hold and look at, the impression that she left on my life was greater than she would ever know. Miss Walker, I love you and will always respect you for your openness and honesty. I will never forget the love that you had for Daniel and me and our marriage. You know that is you know that it we so desperately wanted a baby, a child to love and teach. Many of the things that you have taught me. Miss Walker reminded me of my great aunt Toby. They both are my role models in life. At my desk, I have a black and white picture of my aunt. Again, this visual interpretation is not as great as the actual imprint that will forever be in my heart. I have a friend who cannot see, and she once told me that people don't need pictures. And she's right, because if you truly are a great person, the impression that you leave on people is so grand that it's unable to be captured in a photograph. Tomorrow and every day, I will honor my friend, Miss Walker, by living by her life example. Miss Walker was a great co-worker. She was very open and very honest, and uh, I will miss her greatly. Um, it brought it brings me joy. It it's so weird because it's like my the joy that I had in my life. She actually enjoyed seeing, and um, it's it's so weird and it's so loving and it was so touching that she was just truly happy for for myself and my husband. Um, she she saw the love that Daniel and I have for each other, and she appreciated that love. And, you know, she would always talk to me and pull me aside and tell me, well, you don't let anything happen to your marriage, you know. Daniel you know, is a good person. And, you know, keep that love and keep it genuine, keep it fresh, and, you know, enjoy your life together. And I will. I will continue to live a happy and loving life and be with my husband, I will because not only to honor her, but because that's just the kind of life that we're going to have. Um, she was just, she, I don't know, Miss, Miss Walker was just, the love that she had for people and her openness and honesty was so great. I mean, she lived. She lived. She 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 saw a lot in her life, and not all of it was peaches and cream and you know butterflies and rainbows. And that's why I appreciated her so much because she was very honest. You know, if she went through something bad, she shared it with me. And when people can open up. To, to to you and share not only the good stuff but the bad stuff you learn from their their life experiences and you appreciate and you respect them more because they are being open and honest with you and that's the type of relationship that I try to have with every person that I meet in my life you know I, I'm a very <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm a very open and honest person, and I believe everybody should live like that.
Um, you should always be open and honest to the person that you are. However, you should live that lifestyle without harming or hurting anybody else. You know, and be um, respectful and be don't be oblivious to what comes out of your face. You know, and um, I mean that happens. You know, it does happen once in a while, but um, just always be true to yourself. I know this is going to sound like so cliche, but it's the truth. Always be true to yourself. Be open and honest. And tell people how you feel. You know, if you love that person, tell them, you know what, I really love you. And this is why. Um, if you think a person looks good, you know, and they look they especially pretty today, tell them. You know, oh, you look so pretty today. Oh, I like your skirt. You know, you know, I really like working with you. I really like working with you because, you know, people don't say that enough, and it's a shame. Everybody should, everybody should share little joys all the time. Anyway, that's my blog for today. Um, Thursday, July twelfth, two thousand twelve.